Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. Today I want to talk about how winter time affects the cracks in your asphalt surfaces. So we're going to talk about how they form, the damage they cause, how to fix them, and how to prevent them. So here we go. First step is understanding what we do when we go out and seal a crack. We do one of two methods. Number one, we either use Nyra's ply elastic, and that's a cold pour, and we pour that out and we fill your cracks in with a bee squeegee or we melt down tar blocks in our Craftco machine and we apply that into the crack out of a wand at about 400 degrees. The first on the how, at least during uh, the winter here in southern Ohio, is we have wild temperature swings. It goes from hot to cold. We also have rain, snow, and ice. So the hot and the cold in Ohio tends to expand and contract the cracks. So if you've put anything in the cracks over the summer when winter time comes in and it gets cold, the crack opens up because it contracts and whatever you've put in it is not enough. Uh, the second is the rain, snow, and ice. When water gets in a crack from rain, snow, or ice and then the temperature drops real low, that water freezes and it also expands the cracks. Let me show you a really good video in our own parking lot of a crack that's taking on water that is going to become a bigger problem in the future. If that looks familiar, you're not alone. What's happening there is the water is getting in that crack and it's washing away the base. So it's creating something of a V underneath that crack. What's gonna happen over time is that water is gonna wash away the base and the asphalt's gonna start to sink in and form what we call an alligator area. And I'll show you a picture of that real quick. During the winter, your main two threats are the hot and cold and the water, the moisture, things getting in that crack and freezing and thawing and expanding the cracks. So that's the damage you could be looking at if you don't get those cracks taken care of during the summertime. We did a little experiment with a Pepsi can in a deep freeze and I'll show you a picture of that. This Pepsi can was in the deep freeze which is set around 10 degrees Fahrenheit for less than 24 hours before it exploded. Now I know you're not putting soda in your cracks and letting them expand. It's water. Water doesn't expand and explode in a freeze condition like soda does, but it's a good visual aid of what could happen if you let water lay in the cracks and freeze and thaw. So let me show you that too. So you've seen how it damages it and why it damages it, your cracks that is, what do you do to fix those cracks? We have two different methods when the cracks get out of control. One, you can cut the area out and you can build the base up and you can put new asphalt in and you can roll that back out. I would only recommend that for customers who have every intention of fixing any water problems that's under the base and making sure that no more water is going to get in and around that area. The lesser costly solution is the infrared where we take our machine and we come out, we heat the area up, we work the asphalt over, we add asphalt as needed and we compact it down. We've gone over what I consider to be our bigger threats here in Southern Ohio during the winter, the freezing and the thawing in the water. We've explained how it damages your asphalt surfaces. We've seen the damage it can do to your asphalt surfaces and lightly touched on what we can do to fix it. Lastly, on a parting note, I would say prevention is key. You want to get that asphalt surface seal coated every two to three years and address any cracks that pop up. Get them filled, get them sealed, keep the water out, keep the water out from under your base, and that way you can slow down the inevitable deterioration of the asphalt. Uh, thanks again for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, and we will see you on the next go-around.